Hey, hey, Taurus, happy May and happy birthday to those of you having your birthday this month. Yay! Happy solar return. Very, very powerful time of year. The most powerful is always your birthday and the few days around it to be setting intentions. To it's, it's, it's pretty much your personal new year. So if there were a time for you to do New Year's resolutions, that time is now. What are the seeds you want to sow? What do you want May 2020 to look like? Really get into the five senses deliciousness of what that will look and feel like. Okay. All right. I'm excited to read for you, Taurus. It's been a while. I have missed you. And let's see what's on the table for you this month. Where do you find yourself? What are the possibilities? What are the potentials? What are the pitfalls? What do we need to know, Spirit? Who are the characters? What are the energies for Taurus? Sun, moon, and rising in the month of May. Their past and present actions and the future that that is leading to. What do they need to know? Okay, it's good. Always for the greatest joy, greatest fulfillment, greatest opportunity. Joy, love, creativity, these are things we wish for Taurus. Well, money wouldn't hurt either, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Got a lot of cards here, Taurus. They've got quite a story to tell you. to explain. Okay. Okay. Taurus, I don't usually need to tell you to be patient, but you may need to be a little patient this month. You might feel like snapping at somebody. You might feel like writing a quick email, a quick text, firing off a quick message. Um, but Spirit is actually advising you to lean into what is your natural personality, which is to wait, rest, be still. Four of Swords is crossing that Knight of Swords that is you rushing in where angels fear to tread. Now, here's the thing. Spirit is saying, like, it is, it, it feels like a noble purpose. It feels like some of you are concerned about the way that things are going and, and it's kind of like, look, the emperor has no clothes. I need to tell everybody this is what's going on or I need to get there. I need to be there already. Why aren't we there? We should be here by this time. Everything that you need from the moment is in the moment. Taurus, and that is actually one of your great gifts. So like I said, it's, it feels kind of funny to be telling you, of all people, like, hey, wait, be still, be in the moment, really soak it in. It's interesting to me that they were talking about those five senses. That's how they were kind of putting it to me, and it's like, that's your whole thing. Slow, steady, sustainable. This thing that you want this thing that you might be a little impatient for, this thing that you might be uh, rushing forward on, it's like they said that what you need from the moment is in the moment. What you want is very possible, very much has legs, but it re will require you to remain a little bit more of a student. You may, like I said, want to rush ahead and get to where you feel like maybe you feel late, maybe you feel off path and you're like, oh, if I just flip over my whole life right now and do everything really different and really fast. Chill. Enormous potential here. Enormous potential. You have the Page of Pentacles sitting in the position of what is like sort of unconscious, what is beneath your notice, that the seed is ripe. The message is there. And what's sitting in the position of the possibilities, the Knight of Pentacles the slow, steady change that you're looking for, the sustainable growth, the additional security, additional money. You're dealing with a lot of people this month, Taurus, and it feels like for some of you, you're dealing with an, a, a, a pair. 
what do I mean by that? Uh, this Queen and King of Wands, this is either like this is a married couple or this is a pair of bosses, like this manager and this manager or this director and this supervisor or whatever, and they're of the same ilk, they're of the, like, the reason I say it's like either husband and wife or partner or boyfriend, girlfriend or girlfriend, girlfriend, whatever, uh, run the gamut, right? Whatever partnership, these people are working in tandem. And you don't want to try to bullishly overcome them. The Queen and King of Wands are pretty powerful, and the fact that you're coming in as a Knight of Swords in this particular spread tells me that in this situation, one way or another, don't take it personally, it's not a judgment, Spirit is saying, like, they're in a more powerful position than you. Meaning, maybe you're, you know, new at this job, or maybe um, you just started working for the, whatever, like, there's a situation where you don't want to try to, like, you don't quite have the leverage that they do, so you want to be very measured and be patient. Again, just like you're good at. Something you were actually, I love it, I hadn't even noticed this yet. Sitting in the position of where you find yourself, talk about being patient. High Priestess, there is more information yet to be had. Very much matches with that Four of Swords energy crossing your reading, saying, wait, rest, recover. You actually need to let your mind be really clear like the, you know, the Knight of Swords is rushing and kicking up all this dust and the Four of Swords is saying, hey, wait, we need the dust to settle before we can actually see what the path is looking like because maybe if we're kicking up all this dust and all this conflict and saying all these words and it's a flurry of messages and texts and there's no inflection and there's no context that way, maybe we're kicking up a whole lot of dust and we're not noticing that we're placing a big fucking obstacle in front of ourselves and we're going to bash into it if we're not careful. Feel me? And you're a bull, you can bash in, you'll bash through, you'll probably be fine. But maybe you'll wreck the whole china shop along the way and you know, maybe you like that china. Or maybe you want this job or this relationship to continue. So, Spirit's advice to you is to be a little suave. To be intuitive, to be compassionate, to be still very interesting to me because they're pointing out loud and clear, that, like I said, the king and queen of wands are associated somehow or in some way a pair or a couple. And they're asking you to step more into that queen of cups, which is again, in very in line with the high priestess, very in line with the four of swords. The queen of cups knows that when the waters are churning, we can't see our reflection. And what makes the water churn is the wind, which, are, you know, the wind is the mind, the air element, our thoughts, knight of swords, swords are the air. So it's in getting still and letting the water become as reflective as glass that we can see, oh, this is how I can actually operate within this situation. Because they're telling me, Taurus, you have what it takes. This graduation from the Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles tells me that, but so does the Wheel of Fortune sitting in your past. Some of you have made a big jump, like you've just moved, or again, it's like you've moved to a new place. Maybe some of you, this pair is like, oh, these, this is the landlord, or something like that, but it's like you've made a big transition, so maybe you're in a little bit of unsteady ground or new ground. I don't want to say unsteady, it doesn't feel that way, but like I said, maybe somebody else has a little more leverage than you, so you want to be subtle. You want to be intuitive. You want to see through any If somebody's coming at you with bravado, for example, you might want to tell them off. You might want a knight of swords about it. When actually you want a queen of cups about it and be like, huh, now why is this person behaving this way? Are they threatened by me? Are, am I giving off um, any kind of vibe that I'm not really thinking about and therefore I could be a little more conscious of the way I'm approaching this and they will respond differently? Hint, that's what Spirit is saying. Like, this Queen of Wands, she can get you when you relate to her on that level. You guys don't have to be of the same element. You don't have to be on exactly the same page, but you are. You read at the same level. That's how Spirit just put it. That's funny. I've never said that before in my life, but that's what they just said. I love it. They never fail. It <laughs> never fails. It never cease to amaze me. Like I said, 
this thing that you want, Taurus, this thing that you want to do, this thing that you want to grow, this thing that you want to have or achieve, very much has legs. I feel very specifically that for some of you, it's the Queen of Wands that can kind of hand you the keys to the kingdom, and that's how Spirit is putting it. So it's like if you can get in good, and it's not about kissing ass, it's not anything like that, it's about the Queen of Cups is a Queen of Compassion. So even if somebody is coming at her really hard or really aggressively or whatever, uh, in a way that might seem to other people that is like antagonistic is what I mean, the Queen of Cups is the kind of person who, like I said, can see through and be like, oh, this person's in a little bit of pain. Or, oh, this person thinks the only way to, you know, show their strength is to dominate or to, you know, talk over people. And so instead of rising or lowering to their level, I'm going to stay right where I am and just, you know, because still waters run deep and calm waters show everything. So if I'm perfectly calm, then I'll be able to see what's going on with you and I'll be able to react the way I want to. I'm not going to let the wind kick up and churn these waves until I don't know what's mine, what's yours, where I am in this whole thing. No. That's not in your nature, Taurus. You're firmly grounded and centered. It's just they want you to, to dip a little bit more into your intuitive side. Watch and wait. There's more to be revealed. There's more than meets the eye. That's what it is. It's like there's more to be seen. This is a relationship to be developed. This person is willing to hand you some keys to the kingdom. Be patient. Be consistent. Do what you're best at, which is that. Step by step, once you know. And the Four of Swords is also telling me that a lot of you just plain fucking need a rest and a nap. Like, let's clear the decks, Taurus. Let's clear your calendar at least a couple days of, of this month and maybe sit down and rewrite your routine to give yourself a little more time and space, a little more meditation or journaling or just a nap, just a walk outside in nature to reground, refresh, revitalize. I didn't intend, but then I'm totally going to continue the re-theme and say rebirth. You have the judgment card. There's a release. Quote unquote, letting go of one or two things that you're hoping for or that you expect might be what actually sets you free and allows what is meant to come to you to come. What do I mean by that? I mean that if you are willing to accept, it's a little humbling to bargain and negotiate and get 80% of what you were hoping for. And that is kind of what it feels like the case. Like that's, that's what this energy feels like to me. That's words are cumbersome, but if I could explain what spirit is kind of showing me, it's that it's a partial success and it's mostly success. But some of you might feel like, damn it, I had to, I had to capitulate on this, or I had to sacrifice that, or I had to compromise on this in order to get, uh, what I want, or to keep moving forward, or to get the position that I want. Remember, there's more yet to be revealed. And you might discover that it's actually like, oh, you know what? Like, I don't need to be looking over my shoulder. I need to be looking ahead. I don't need to look at what I've lost or what I'm leaving behind. I need to keep my eyes forward. There's a bit of an awakening happening with you in May. It's the start of a new life in a way. And I know that sounds big, but that's what it feels like with Wheel of Fortune in your past and judgment sitting as, as the concluding card, you know, the key to this whole thing. It's an awakening. Be in the moment because you can't wake up unless you're in the moment when you're getting woken up. If you're trying to run 10 years in the future, 10 minutes in the future, you might miss the signs that Spirit is sending you in the moment. Patience, Taurus. This is a level up. This is a power up. This is a reawakening. This is moving up the chain from knight to queen with a little calm, a little reflection. It's a power up. 
I love it, Taurus. You're going to know what to do. You're going to know when the wake-up call comes and what you're meant to say and do and what the change that you're meant to make is. This feels empowering. Yeah, anything that you might be feeling in the dark about, they're telling me by the end of May, by the end, and I'm going to say by the end of May, early June, because they're kind of giving me like a three week, three week number, you're going to have answers to something that you've been waiting on. And then it's like, okay, now I can move forward. Now I feel empowered. Now I have the keys to the kingdom. So be a little patient, Taurus. Patient, consistent. Some of your best qualities. I think you're going to do just fine. I'm very excited for you, as a matter of fact. I think you're going to get to work a little more magic in the coming months. Summer is looking bright. <laughs> Thank you for listening, Taurus. I really hope this is helpful for you. Um, throughout the month and onward and I just want to say thank you for coming back and watching I know it's been a while and to tell the truth it's just like I work two different um I work two different jobs and then I do this between that so I really appreciate those of you who've been patient and supportive and sending me messages and things like that it's really really helpful and I promise that I'm already working on June videos so if I don't see you in next week's Magic Monday video then I hope I see you in the June reading bye Taurus